Welcome everyone to another Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today we've got a brand new WWE Action Figure Review for you. I haven't done a lot of these lately. I've been mostly doing Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe's and things like that. But today I was in Smith's and I saw a figure I kind of had to buy. When I, when I was a kid watching WWE, my first time ever owning my own WWF VHS or a videotape as we used to call it here in Ireland was Royal Rumble 1993. Now obviously I had seen everything. I'd done video rentals of all previous WrestleManias and things. But the first one I ever owned was Royal Rumble 1993. The one, I think it was Bret Hart versus Razor Ramon in the main event. And the winner of the Royal Rumble that year was this guy, Yokozuna. So this WWE Royal Rumble Special Elite Yokozuna is kind of commemorating that. And the minute I saw it, I had to buy it. It was only like 14, 15 euros, something like that. And yeah, I, I owned I owned the previous Yokozuna, which was like early in the series, where he had the whole, the, the gown and the red. But I never saw like an elite of the white one. And uh, I think there may have been one released in the States as an exclusive or something. But yeah, when I saw this guy, I had to get him. Of course, you can build Jimmy Mouth of the South Heart. They do have all the rest of the wave as well in there on clearance. So I may grab them, maybe. But uh, yeah, Yokozuna. I do have Bret Hart, probably not the right one from the same, from the same event too. But uh, yeah, so let's check out the box. So let's look at the box for this Royal Rumble Elite Collection Yokozuna. And as you can see on the front of the box, you've got this awesome picture of Yoko here looking badass. You've got Jimmy Mouth of the South Heart down here. Of course, his head comes in this package. You've got the WWE logo. True effects up here, Elite Collection, Royal Rumble. On the side, you've got a bigger picture of Yokozuna again, Royal Rumble. Of course, it was 1993, and that is from that match. Here you've got the rest in the series, Dakota Kai, Earthquake, and Biggie. They're all in clearance at Smith's at the moment. And of course, Jimmy Hart, the Mount of the South. If you're gonna collect him, it's the right time to do it. You've got all those um, niggities in the bottom, more on the side. Again, on the other side, Yokozuna Elite Collection, and that's the box. So let's get the big guy out. Um, as you can see here, Yokozuna looks absolutely amazing. Check out that face sculpt and the, the size. That ass can go for this. <laughs> and he does come with his bucket as well, and two different hands for grappling. He's got two punching hands. And yeah, this guy is a really, really good figure. The only thing I would say is he doesn't have the updated elbows that the elites have been using lately. Now I don't know if he was made too late for those or they just didn't bother their backsides putting them in. But anyway, let's get him down and check out all the accessories he came with, including that build a figure head. So accessory wise for Yokozuna, there isn't a whole lot. He does come with his bucket, which is usually filled with salt. So like he threw it in the face of Hulk Hogan. They tried it with, they did it with Bret Hart, I think as well at WrestleMania. He does come with two different hands for grabbing. So he can like hold that if he wants. Now this being a pay-per-view series, it did come with a Build-A-Figure build part. And this time it came with Jimmy the Mouth of the South Heart head and his megaphone. So like even if you weren't collecting this, you probably still use this in dioramas and stuff. But uh, really cool. I like. The last, the first Yokozuna Elite came with his um, his black and white gown thing. So I was kind of disappointed that this one didn't, or maybe even a Japanese flag or something like that. That would have really made the set worthwhile. But all in all, it, it does come with something at least. So let's check out the figure. So let's take a closer look at the figure to finish off. As you can see, he's got the white trunks as a, the white gear from Royal Rumble 93. That face is very, very angry, as you can see. And they've captured his features really, really well. Right down to uh, the hair going down the back, which is really, really nice. I do like the skin tone as well. They really, he could even be darker, I feel. But uh, I think they've done a really, really good job here. Articulation wise, I did mention already that the elites lately have like an extra articulation on the elbows to give them double joints. He doesn't have that. He does have full rotation here, bicep swivel, as I said, single jointed elbow, wrists go around and up and down, the head, you can look down, 
can't really look up unless you use the the belly articulation head goes side to side you do get a full rotation chest and go up left and right up and down there is no waist articulation because of the belt legs will go this far out will go this far up he does have double jointed knees which work quite well he does have boot articulation with with his shins legs go up and down a little bit and a little bit of a tilt on the ankles but not a whole lot uh height wise he is quite tall he is um he is fairly accurate here he is next to his rival Brett the Hitman Hart and I think now correct me if I'm wrong I think that's fairly accurate for the height um, other than that there isn't a whole lot I can say about this figure it's very basic um, <clears throat> there's not a lot to it again they've done really well in capturing his size look at that belly and that backside they've done very well capturing that he does of course have the tassels coming off this as well as I said earlier he could have came with maybe the dressing gown and the flag but other maybe Mr. Fuji but uh, that's another thing that could be a double pack in the future but uh, overall as basic as it is I am pretty happy with the figure like he can you can get him into a, a way that he can do his bonsai drop and he can do like the super kicks and stuff that Yokozuna used to do yes he used to do super kicks uh, he can't do the belly to belly splash obviously because his hands won't go around but other than that he can do most of his uh, signature moves so that's all you can really ask for from a WWE figure so guys if you like this review hit that like button do us a favour hit that subscribe also uh, if you enjoyed it I will have more like it in the future I do spuriously collect WWE figures some of the ones that I uh, enjoy some of the wrestlers that I enjoy collect their figures uh, other than that I do loads of others like Marvel, NECA, G.I. Joe, etc. And uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, it's been a blast. Hope you enjoyed it. Banzai! Bye!